hello friends welcome back today in this video for the subject basic thermodynamics sy btec mechanical unit 1 thermodynamic concepts and basic definitions i prasad bosge assistant professor would like to discuss the contents of this video so in this today's video we are going to go through the basic definitions so the basic definition then the, what is thermodynamics then overview of the laws of thermodynamics and thermodynamic systems so these are the parts we will go through okay in today's contents so let us begin with the topics So what is thermodynamics? So thermodynamics is a branch of physical science that deals with the relations between heat and other forms of energy such as mechanical, electrical or chemical energy and by extension and the relationship between all the forms of energy. So it is what basically a science which deals with heat and other forms of energy or either you can also call it as the heat work interaction. So let us uh, see the overview of the laws of thermodynamics in detail we are going to discuss. So thermodynamics basically entails four laws known as the zeroth law, the first law, the second law and the third law of thermodynamics. So the first law throws light on the concept of internal energy, right? The zeroth law tells us about the thermal equilibrium and establishes the concept of temperature. So it is basically telling you the concept of thermodynamics, that is the change in temperature here likewise. Okay. Here, this point. The second law The second law indicates the limitation of conversion of heat into work and introduces to the principle of, principle of increase of entropy. So heat, work, conversion and the concept of entropy. The third law defines the absolute zero of entropy. So in this, see uh, all these terms in detail we are going to discuss. Now first, what is a system? A system is a finite quantity of matter or a prescribed region of space. So here in this diagram, you can clearly see this is the surrounding, this is the boundary and this is the system. So a system has a boundary and a surrounding. Here clearly you can see. Now what is a boundary? A boundary, the actual or hypothetical envelope enclosing the system by the boundary of the system. So it is a hypothetical envelope. So you can see in this diagram, this is the cylinder, this is a piston and this is the system inside and this is the real boundary, you can see these dotted lines. Whereas uh, this dotted line in this figure also so shows you the boundary of the system and the inside of it is the system, actual system.
now what is a closed system a closed system if the boundary of the system is impervious to the flow of matter this is called as the closed system means in simple words in this diagram if you observe you can see this is the boundary this is the system but the mass remains constant regardless of the varying of the boundary it means that there is no flow of matter okay whereas the other diagram you can see so example is what uh, the system of this system is the mass of the gas or vapor contained in the engine cylinder the boundaries of which are drawn by the cylinder walls the cylinder head and the piston crown here the con the boundary is a continuous and no matter may leave the system whereas now you can see this is a closed system and in open system what happens the matter can actually come out from here and go in from here so no doubt it is having these boundaries so this is a closed system and a open system now what is the open system just now we have seen an open system is one in which the matter flows into or out of the system most of the engineering systems are open systems next what is an isolated system an isolated system is the is that system which exchanges neither energy nor the matter which any other system or with the environment so uh, there is no exchange of matter in this case adiabatic system an adiabatic system is one which is thermally insulated from its surrounding thermally insulated means there is no transfer of heat so it can however, however exchange the work so work transfer is possible but uh, with the surrounding but the heat transfer does not take place so what is a phase a phase is a quantity of matter which is homogeneous throughout the chemical composition of the physical structure now what is a homogeneous system homogeneous system a system which consists of a single phase is terminated as a homogeneous systems so examples are what so these are the examples mixture of air and water vapor water plus nitric acid and octane plus heptane so what is a heterogeneous system a heterogeneous system is a system which consists of two or more phases is called as a heterogeneous system so example is what water plus steam ice plus water and water plus oil so this is a heterogeneous system thank you friends thank you very much